Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Book of Proverbs. I'm so glad it changed me. Change. 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 I dare you to start believing this word. I dare you to start applying it. That's what you're gonna be saying. Something about the word it made me change. Change. Change my walk. It even changed my talk. It changed. Can't explain it but a change. Oh, what have we ever done for change? Oh, last week we 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 told you that there is a famine in the land. It's not a famine of water or food, but it's a famine of the word of God. There, there is a famine, there is a famine, there is famine in the land and people are running to and fro. They're looking for something and they don't know what they're looking for. And then we finished it up by Inviting us to go to, that was Amos 8, eight, eight, eight and 11, I believe. Then we invited us to go to Revelation 3, 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and, and hear my voice, and let me come in. I'm coming in. And I'm going to come in and sup with you and, and you with me. And uh, we saw him knocking. And, and, and he won't make us let him in, but if we let him in, he brings a blessing. And looking at that famine, uh, I went over here to this, to this um, fourth chapter of Proverbs, the 20th. Through the 22nd verse. We want to talk a little more about the word. Are y'all with me now? My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life to those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Look at that again. My son, attend to my words. Attend to my words. It's not just my son, my, my children, really. Attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my saying. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. So they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. This, this book, this little section here, gives you a, 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 an answer uh, and a remedy for every problem you can have in your life and with your health. Not just with your health. It, 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 it's the scripture that 
Joan Osteen's mother, uh, Doe Osteen, used to fight cancer years ago. And, that she had a, wasn't supposed to make it. And every day I heard her testimony, she would get up and take her medicine. This right here, this word. And uh, she would get up and just get her some word every day. And the next thing she knew, cancer was gone. Amen? She, she just, she just, started doing what he said, attend to my words and don't let them depart from thine eyes. Amen. You see, Jesus said in John 10 and 10, the thief cometh but to steal. Only reason he came, to kill and destroy. But I came that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Amen. Uh, 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 so, so Proverbs saying, is saying here that God's word is, is medicine uh, for your flesh. Amen? It, 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 it's life unto those who find it, and it's, it, it, it's health to all of your flesh. That, that's, that's God's word. And it, it, it's going deep because it's really telling you that it's like the, the abundant life Jesus talks about. When I told you this morning, when God talked about blessings, he's not just talking about money. He's, he's dealing with all of, the, all of the circumstances of life. Amen. The answer is, is found in God's word. Amen. That's why, that's why, that's why there, there, there's a famine of the hearing of the word. Amen. Uh, uh, the devil don't mind us standing up here talking, giving you fancy, uh, poetic statements that sound good, but he doesn't want us to give you some real word. And then he doesn't want you to, he doesn't want you to hear it. Uh, and he doesn't want you to believe it. Amen? Are you, are you hearing me? So, 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 so he said, uh, that, that's why, that's why a, a, a second Corinthians 1 and, 1 and 20 say, for, the, for all the promises of God in him are yes, 2 second, second Corinthians 1 and 20. You hear me say it all the time. All the promises of God in him are yes, amen, and in him, amen, are you hearing me? In him, in him, to the glory of God by us. All the promises already have a, have, have, have a yes on it. So God don't want us to hear the promises, amen? Because we start getting the promises, you know, we'll get the blessing. Yes. You know, we'll get the healing, we'll get the deliverance, we'll get the joy, amen? Because it, they have a yes on it. Yes. So all we have to do is get in line with the word and, 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 you, and you've got the yes that's coming, amen? amen? amen. Uh, so, 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 so he goes here and he said, uh, my son, attend to my words, all right? Uh, give an ear to my saying. What is, what is he saying when he said attend to my words, anyway? Uh, uh, he, he's saying, give my word your undivided attention. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You see, you see, when, 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 when they say there's a famine of the hearing of the word last week, uh, some people say, well, I, I've heard that. Some of y'all have heard this before. But, but it's not hearing it every once in a while. It is hearing it on a regular basis. And you ought to hear it at, at church, and then you ought to hear it at home while you are doing what David said in, 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 in the psalm, meditate on his word day and night. It don't mean you walk around with your so heavenly minded that you know earthly good, that your mind's always up in heaven. You're gonna walk all over stuff and walk off the cliff, walk out in front of a car, get killed. Like folk walk around with the phones all the time, you know. You know, we, we've had folk to get, get run over by cars, get killed, walk around because they can't take their eyes off the phone, you know. And instead of getting up, looking at Facebook every morning and, and all through the day, get up and get you some word. You see, and, and when you meditate, 
you don't just get it. You, you look at it and you say, now, what is it saying to me? And, 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 and so you chew on it for a little bit. And you, and you know, some folks say, I just don't understand. Well, you, you don't understand it, uh, you, but when you look at it for a while, God will start making it make sense, or he'll give me a word to, to give you to make you understand what you were looking at. So, so you ought to start your day off, off by getting you some word, if not but 10 or 15 minutes of it. Amen. Amen? Before the devil can jump you when you get up, uh, get, get some word, you know. David said you'll be like a tree planted by, we preached this not long ago this year, rivers of water. Not just a speck of water, but rivers. Amen. Amen. To give forth its fruit in season. Amen. Not out of season. Out of season. You ever get, that's why, that's why a lot of fruit's not good. Now people always say, boy, I found some good fruit. You know, you'd rather find good sweet fruit now because they pick it out of season and let it ripen, try to let it ripen when it get to the soil. They used to get, get it, you know, you, vine ripened tomatoes. I bought tomatoes yesterday, you know. And then they had the vine ripened, you know. You, you don't have that, you see. So, so, so God is saying, uh, give, an, give an attention to my words, amen. amen. He's, he, he's saying, put my word into your heart yeah. and into your mind. Amen. Get that in your word. Children ought to get it. You know, when I grew up, we, we had uh, 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 Sunday school where the children were being taught. We had the, the youth gathering where they were being taught. We had the, we used to call it the BYPU, then they changed it to the BTU, because they realized that we didn't need just the Baptist Young People's Training Union, we needed the Baptist Training Union, because the old folk needed some training in the word too, so it stopped being in the evening the BYPU, it became the BTU. Now see, I'm, I'm going back now, so a lot of y'all don't know about, don't, don't, all y'all ever heard, ain't that right, brother, that they just heard BTU, amen, but it was the BY. Amen? But, but they found everybody needed it. Are you hearing me? So, 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 so he said, now, give attention to my word. Put my word in your heart. Put it in. Amen? Amen? And then put out of your heart and your head and your mind everything that exalts itself against the word of God. Amen? Amen? He said, put it out. Are y'all hearing me? And, 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 and all the distractions that rob you of your faith, and all the distractions that rob you uh, of, 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 your, of, of your blessings, amen, put them out. Amen? amen. Get, get, just get them out. Amen? Trust God to do what he said he'll do. Because God, God is still working. Can I tell can I tell, can I tell, can I tell on you? Yeah, y'all know when Reverend Mays was here, I wouldn't let Reverend Mays stand up. Because he's hurting so bad with that uh, sciatic. And the Sunday before that, he didn't tell me, but in the middle, during service, he had to take a very strong pain pill. And, and it was getting worse and worse. So we were talking a uh, 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 couple weeks ago after that. And then when we went, to, we went to hang up, I said, hey, let's pray on that thing. Long distance prayer, amen. He, now he, up, now he up here doing everything now. He said, well, I had no more pain, no more nothing. He been all out in the yard. No, I said, uh, I, I won't tell no, oh, no, no, no. And then it's not, not like no sense, like Lord said, leave it alone, leave it alone. You, you know, God is still God. Amen. He's still God. Amen. He's still God. He hasn't changed. I'm God. I don't change. Jesus is Christ the same. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, forever. That's why the Old Testament, yeah. amen, it, 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 is, is the, the Bible concealed. And what you see, that's why I went to Revelation to, to, show, you, to show you how God unsealed the famine and, and, and now what's happening to cause the famine, you see? And, and, and it's like, like in, the, in the New Testament, in the Old Testament. See, the Old Testament was about, about Jehovah was, was the one out, out front, the Father, you see? Because he was preparing the way for his son to come and take our place. To, to bless us and establish the church as the delivery system for, this, for that to happen. So we're in the church age now. We're in the age of grace. You, you see, the, 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 the Old Testament, God had a people, the Jews, that he worked through. Amen. So, so, so you're dealing with, with Jewish blessings, you know. And preachers used to get on me because I preach, as you see, the Old Testament a lot. And preachers always would say, well, I don't preach Old Testament. Uh, well, I do because the New Testament tells me in Galatians, Amen. That Jesus came and took our sins to the cross, took our sickness to the cross, took our poverty to the cross, that the blessings of Abraham might be ours. 
And Abraham's blessing was a deliverance from poverty, deliverance from sickness. And, 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 you, you see what I'm saying? So, so since they're ours, I, I preach Old Testament, amen, not because we are under, uh, quote unquote, uh, the theoretic system, amen. You, 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 we're under Christ, you see. But, but Christ, God, the Father, God, the Holy Spirit, they are all God, amen. That's why when, 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 when Genesis started out, uh, it said, let us make man after our own image, amen. Amen. Because the word Elohim was used there. That's the plural of God. Amen. So, 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 so we, we're not separating them, but we're under, the, we under the church age. Amen. And we're under that dispensation. And as you saw in Revelation, amen, when, when, when Jesus, when Jesus comes back for his church, amen, it, it, you know, you, you will have that Jewish group that, 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 that will have been saved and, 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 and resurrected and born again also. We, we have seen that, amen? But we'll be gone, amen? See, them 144,000 uh, Jews from each, from each one of the 12 tribes, amen, 12,000 people, they're going to be, they be preaching, but we'll be through with it because he's going to pull us out. And we're seeing it happening right now. But right now, he said, he said you've got to put this word in your heart, amen, that you don't sin against him, amen? And then he said, he said, he said, now, 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 you got to incline your ear to my saying. Amen. You know, the body has gates. It has the eye gate, plural, and it has the ear gates. Amen. And then it's got this right here, this mouth. These are gates. These stuff lets things in, the eye and the ear. The mouth puts stuff out. And the mouth can ruin everything that came through the eye gate and the ear gate. Amen? Because we can't rise above our confession. Whoo, you, you scared me to death. No, you don't scare me to death. You might scare me to life because I'm going to go to God and get me some stuff to deal with you. Amen? But you're not going to scare me to death. I ain't going to claim scared, being scared to death. Because God is about life. Amen? Amen. Don't never tell your children, you ain't going to never amount to nothing. Amen. You're speaking defeat into their head. Amen. Let them know they're smart. Let them know they're smart. I tell them how beautiful she is every day. Then take her to the beauty shop and let them do stuff to her. Amen. Do stuff to your toes and do stuff to your, to your nails and do stuff to your hair. Amen. 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 Because I want her to get used to that, you know, because some of us think, well, that ain't, that ain't the life. You know, I wasn't made to have the door open for me. I wasn't made to be told I'm beautiful. I was made to be called a hoe and a, and a bee and all that kind of stuff. No, you were made to be called beautiful. Yes, Amen. You were made to be, have somebody open the door for you. Yes, Amen. And buy the car for the door that they open for you. Yes, Amen, somebody? Yes, Amen. That's what you were made for. Amen. Yes, Amen. You, you were made. Amen. Uh, 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 to, to be, to God, God looks and said, it's not good for man to be alone. I'm going to get him a mate and put by him. Amen. They, they, are, they are two now. Now he's complete. Amen. And the devil said, well, I've got to stop this right now. I better stop this right now. He ran down to her, to Eve's house and started messing with her. Amen. So incline your ear, incline your ear to my sayings. Amen. Amen. In other words, God said, open up. Amen. Drink my words in. Take them all in. Amen. I, I made you, I made you, I made you. Amen. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. You were made by me. I didn't make junk. Amen. God doesn't make junk. Amen. Sin brings, brings junk, but Jesus came to deliver us from the junk pile. Amen. Tell the devil, tell the devil you're a liar and, 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 and a wonder. Amen. Amen. But you're not a wonder to me because God is God. Amen. So, so he said, incline your ear to my saying. In other words, let, let, let my words come into your ears. Don't let my words go through your ears. I talked about spiritual diarrhea last week. Amen. You, get, you, you know, some people, some of us, the word come right in. It's like food go to us. Get us with diarrhea and come right out. Amen. God wanted to come in you and he wanted to stay there. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me today? Now, I'm, I'm going to teach you a little something. Amen. I'm teaching you how to be blessed. Amen. Not to have an emotional thing to walk out of here and still live defeated. Amen. Amen. God didn't come to, to have us defeated. Amen. God came to have us blessed. I mean, this will tire you out now. You know, you, it, it, this will make you sleepy. Yeah. Amen. 
It'll make you sleepy. Let me, let me share something else with you. Let me share something else with you. I, I said I wasn't going to tell you this because I don't want y'all going to panic. You know, I told you about all those good numbers I got in my physical. Amen? Yeah. Yeah, my, my, you know, all of them was great. But the blood pressure, 114 over 70. I showed the Reverend Major Reverend Crutches just before, so to see the paper, amen. Cholesterol, 161. All that good stuff, amen. All that good stuff. And, uh, uh, and then, two weeks ago, I get a call. They said, we checked your blood work. Doctor was gone all that time. And you have chronic kidney disease, the second stage. Well, did you hear that, Lord? I, I, can you live to be a, uh, past 100? If you got that, and what? I said, later, I said, how many stages is it? She said, five. I said, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Tay, Tay was in the car when the lady said it. Tay covered up her face. You know, you know, because when you get in the car, these new cars, you get in there and your phone just come on. So everybody just hears you say, everybody know your business. You don't know how to cut it off. <laughs> that sucker just come on. You just get in the car, you just come on, go through all them screaming. You be telling the phone, shut that up. <laughs> I almost cussed that, cussed that thing out. That, 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 what's the car? The, the thing that you bring up the streets on and tell you where you're going? Yeah, I, I cut it on, then couldn't cut it off. I, I was home, and he was still trying to get me back to back out in the Beaver Creek. I, I started talking to him. I said, fool, I'm in Huber Heights now. It's telling me to go way back to Beaver Creek. <laughs> I mean, I was, I said, I'll cut the motor off when I go in the house. <laughs> I said, when I go in the house, that'll get that joker. I get back in about an hour later on my way to Lowe's. It starts trying to get me back out to Beaver Creek. I, I had to stop on the side of the road and read the book. <laughs> Cause now Z didn't do nothing. All Z do, do, do when I forgot what to do. She said, she said, you go, you go home, Reverend. I said, I'm trying to go home. No, home on here, Reverend. Anyway. Anyway. I did some praying and drank a whole lot of water. Studied a few vitamins that, that, that you know, because I see I was taking stuff. <laughs> I, I was I was taking the vitamins now, you get certain ages, you start realizing you're losing muscle. So I was adding muscle stuff to, you know, that helped with the exercise, you know. Yeah. Well, some things like creatine, you don't want too much creatine in your kidneys. So I said, well, I better back up off of that, you know. Anyway, I went back, and the number that was high was 28. I went back the other day. I said, you know, went to the doctor, tested again. It's dropped to 18. Bam. You see? So you, you, you can't read. You, 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 Kevin used to sing a song, whose report are you going to believe? He said, I don't believe the report of the Lord. You see, you can't go into panic and, and, and get ready to die, you know, and, 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 you know, because you get that. And I read up on the thing and it said, when you get that, it can't be reversed, but it, but it can be slow. Well, I don't want to slow nothing. Like God in, in reversing. Amen, just reversing, just taking away. Just make the numbers drop. Amen, somebody. Uh, you see what I'm saying? And, and so, boom, and, 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 and with, with some prayers and most stuff, it dropped, bam, just like that. God is a bam God. Now, he doesn't always do it. He doesn't always do it. Just, you know, if you've been asking for it and you haven't gotten it, amen, don't give up on it. Amen? amen. amen. Yeah, but, but, but make sure you're in line with his word. Amen. Are you hearing me? And we just keep on giving you stories. Well, God, just church folks, just, just do it. Amen? Yeah. But you got to believe it. Now, you know, this text don't say nothing about praying. Now, I'm not taking nothing from prayer now. Amen? This text is just saying, uh, uh, getting in line with the word. Yeah. Saying what God say. Amen? Amen? You know, you're going to say what they tell you on Facebook. You're going to tell what all them negative folks said. You're going to get all down about who don't like you, who don't love you. Amen. What's wrong? Amen. you got to get a high smoking, uh, smoking weed, taking drugs. Amen. Uh, illicit relationship. That ain't a high that's going to last. Get high on the word and watch what God's going to do for you. Amen. Incline your ears. To my word, you gotta keep on. You gotta keep on hearing the word. You can't just get it, amen. Every once in a while, believe it. Every once in a while, believe it when it says what you want, amen. Meditate on it, amen. 
Amen. You see, if you open your ears to what God is really saying, you're closing your ears to what everybody else is saying, to what the, what, what, to what doubt is saying, to what is what to what fear is saying, to all the negative news you're getting, to even what your body is saying. Your body don't have no last word. Amen. Amen. You got to tell your body you don't have the last word. God has the last word. It ain't about no emotional stupor. It's about looking in what the word say. Amen. Meditating on it day and night. Believing what it says. Getting in line with what he says. Amen. And watch what God's going to do for you. Oh my God. The word can be life and health to all your flesh right now. I came that you might have life. And have it more abundantly. But God got, God got, God got, God has rules. Amen. You can't just do anything and expect God to move on your on your behalf. Amen. He, he said, you know, whatever you ask, according to my will, I'll do it. Well, I'll be stuck in the Bible, wanting to know God's will, because that way we get whatever we ask. Amen. My God will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Amen. I don't want to spend my life just, go, just having my needs. Amen. I need a car. I need a new car. I need a house. No, I need to own more. I need a man. No, I need a good man. I need a woman. I need a good one. Amen, somebody? Amen. So, so, so that, so, 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 so you're talking about needs. He said, when you learn... There's another level beside my needs. What things soever you desire. Oh, now, nah, that's my desire. I was talking about desire. What things soever you desire, believe you'll receive them. And you'll have what you say that again. Say. That's why I keep telling you, watch what you say. I ain't gonna never have nothing. No, you're not. You, you, you're right. I'll always write the bus. You sure will. I ain't gonna never have no good job. No, you're not. I ain't gonna never meet no good man. No, you're not. I'm not gonna never meet, meet a nice woman. No, you're not. Amen. But if you learn to set your table, put out your nice dishes, and say, I got this here for my husband that's coming, Lord. Amen. Because I ain't taking nothing less than him. I got my, my china out. Amen. And, and my, my, my fine stem glass. And my, I, got, I got this out. Amen. I got the candle lit for Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright will come sometimes. Amen, somebody. <laughs> oh, God. Inclining your ears to God is a continual action. Amen. Amen. You, you, you got to keep on doing it. You got to keep on doing it. Amen, somebody. Amen. Jeremiah 15 and 16, Jeremiah said, Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and thy words were unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Of my heart. Amen. Amen. For I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. Amen. Amen. And we're called by his name. What is your name? You're a Christian. Amen. We're called by his name. Amen. We're called by his name. We're his folk. My people, he said, ought to hear my voice. Amen, somebody. Amen. So all you got to do is take it, 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 just take in his medicine, the word. It's healing for you. Not only, not only healing for your body, healing for your finances, healing for your home, your emotions. Amen. Let me, let, 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 let me go down a little further. He said, don't let it depart from your eyes. Amen? Amen? I, I told you, it's important what you listen to. Incline your ear to him. Amen? It, it, so he's telling you what you ought to listen to if you want life and help. Incline your ear to my sayings. But he also said, let them not depart from thine eyes. Amen? Are you hearing me? You got to keep your eyes fixed on God. Amen. 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 You got to keep your eyes fixed on God. Amen. You got to keep your eyes fixed on God. Amen. Don't look at your circumstances. Amen. Don't look at the, I, I could have looked at the doctor's report, 
Amen. Amen. I could have looked at the doctor's report. Amen. Kenny, you remember way back then when I went to the, to the Indian doctor. <laughs> and I told you what he said. I said, I didn't buy that. And you know, he was way, he was way off. I wanted a certain test that he said 80-something-year-old men don't even need because they ain't got what, what they're looking for. When I went to my urologist and, and saw I had what he was looking for, I sent him a report. Don't believe, don't believe what you hear. Amen. Amen. Believe what God say. Amen. Don't look at your circumstances. Amen. Whole lot of you ain't got it because you told yourself that, that, that you ain't supposed to have it. The Bible says you're supposed to have it, and you're telling yourself you're not supposed to have it. Your circumstances have told you you're not supposed to have it. Your life situations have told you you're not supposed to have it. You grew up, grew up here, and you're not supposed to have it. So you have concluded that you're not supposed to have it. So you take anything, amen, and anybody, amen. That ain't what God said. A whole lot of us don't have it because Jesus said, Jesus said, by this shall all men know that you're mine, that you love one another. A whole lot of us can't get what we ought to get because we got too many hang up with each other. And that, now that comes down more to women than men even. But men, men can get that way too. Yeah, yeah. What if Jesus would have did that? Instead of saying, Lord, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. What if even Stephen would have did it when, I, when we went into Paul on that Damascus Road last week when we, when we was closing? And I told you, he held the coat for them to stone Stephen, and Stephen said, Lord, forgive him. He died, and he said, Lord, forgive him. Amen. He didn't, go, he didn't leave out with, no, with no, no animosity against nobody. Amen. He left out with love. Lord, they don't know. Amen. When you see somebody that, that doing stupid things, just say, Lord, they don't know. Somebody treats you funny, say, Lord, they don't know. Amen. Sometimes folks treat you funny because you're so blessed. I'd rather folks treat me funny because I'm blessed than, than, than be sweet to me because they feel sorry for me. Amen. Amen. This ain't no, this ain't, church ain't for no pity party. Amen. Church is for blessed folk. Amen. You got to walk like you're blessed. You got to talk like you're blessed. You got to walk like it even when you, when you ain't blessed. Amen. You ever seen folks look like they got a whole lot and they, they about broke? You can't tell it because they just ain't going to break down. I may be broke in my pocket, but I ain't broke in my mind. I am broke, but I ain't going to be broke down because this is a temporary thing. This is a temporary thing. This is not a permanent thing. This is a temporary thing because my God is a, not a temporary God. He's a permanent God. His blessings are permanent blessings. Sometimes I got to go through the storm because it's part of life to go through some storm. There are some downs, but there are going to be some up. There are some Fridays when they're going to be nailing me to a cross, they think. When they're going to be laughing at me. When they're going to be talking about, but I'm going to rise again. Tell the devil I'm getting up from this thing. Because I'm a child of God. Oh God, I feel like preaching today. He said, he said, whatever you do, whatever you do, amen. Don't let my words depart uh, from your eyes. Amen. Keep my word fixed on your eyes. Amen. That's why David said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. Amen. I'm not going to look at the circumstances. I'm going to look up where my help coming from. Amen, somebody. Because my help comes from the Lord. Anybody in here know what I'm talking about? That's why, that's, why, that's why God let me get to be an older preacher that come from being a younger preacher, amen, to let you know that God keep on blessing, amen. He don't stop blessing, amen. You can have a whole bunch of children, amen. He gonna still bless you, amen. Crumb crushes, amen. I remember I, went, I stopped drinking milk because they were drinking two gallons a day. I said, uh-uh, no, I, I can't drink no more milk. I still don't drink milk, amen, <laughs> amen. But God, God is God. Oh, I got to stop. I got to stop. Y'all all want it. Amen. Amen. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Amen. Because they will become life to you. They are the words of life and health. Amen. Amen. But, but, but you see what it says? It says, to those who find them. You can sit in church. And it can keep going right by you. Amen. That's why some of us stay in the same rut. Because it's been going right on by us. 
are running through us with that spiritual diarrhea. Amen. But those who find it, amen, those who find it, amen, it's life and health. Y'all know that. Y'all been with me going in Baptist churches where they didn't preach healing. And in a bunch of them, we saw folk get healed. Amen. We saw folk lining up, deacons even, lining up in one of our biggest churches with one of our national leaders waiting to get healed. And we saw it happen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. We, we, we've seen God do some, do some wonderful things. It's for those who find it. I never stopped searching for more word. And after preaching for years, one time, all of a sudden, a light came on. And I said, Lord, am I preaching everything? Amen. We never cast demons out of nobody. Amen. Because in the Baptist church, I wasn't taught to cast demons out of nobody. People are scared of demons. Don't, sitting here now, some folks say, oh, don't talk about no demons. They're here. They're real. Some of them probably messing with you. They can't get in you if you're saved, but they can mess with your head, your soul. Amen. I didn't know about the difference in dunamis power and exusia power. One is the authority, one is the explosive power, amen, that, that, that we have. Amen. I didn't know anything about standing in front of the devil and telling him, uh-uh, not here. Uh-huh. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You know, that they expect healings to happen. Amen. You know, you, you, have, you, you have to, you have to as, as, as I said, it's to those who find them. You don't ever stop searching for a little bit more in his word. You don't stop coming to church. Amen. Every week, well, it's going to be the same thing, the same old song, the same thing. No, uh-uh. You coming to get you some word. Amen. You, maybe, maybe I've been listening all these years and all of a sudden the light bulb come on. I'm, I'm getting this thing now, Reverend. Amen. That's why older preachers get burnt out. They get tired. They don't want to keep finding nothing new. They don't want to study. You know, you got to keep on, you got to keep on looking for it. There's a, there's a little bit more. Amen. Amen. That's why you can have impossible dreams. Why dream an impossible dream? Because if you can see the invisible, you can do the impossible. And the word is what allows you to see the invisible. Because God is not really invisible, but you see God through faith. Oh God, I, 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 I have to finish this next week. I have to finish it real quick. Amen. That's how you do it. The, the words of faith. Amen. The Bible is called the word of faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. But how do you get faith? Oh, God. Huh? How do you get faith? Amen. Through his word. How can you call on him? Romans 10. In whom you have not believed. How can you believe in him? Of whom you have not heard. Yeah. Romans 10. And how can you hear? Without a preacher. Yeah. And how can they preach? Except they be sent. So faith cometh. By hearing the word of God. Yeah. I'm sitting now. I didn't quite get through. First John 5 and 4 says, this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. That's the victory, that's the victory, that's the victory, that's the victory. So you gotta keep on hearing the word and then you gotta start appropriating the word. I hear it, I'm putting the word on this. Amen? Amen. Don't let it depart from your eyes. Keep it in the midst of your heart. Keep it deep down in the midst of your heart. Amen? amen. Oh, amen. Thy word is found, Jeremiah, and I ate it. Somebody today, I hope you say, thy word, Lord, is found, and I ate it. Amen? Amen? So he says, stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Incline. Attend to my words. Look. Incline your ear to what I'm saying. Listen. Let God's word not depart from your eyes. Keep it in the midst of your heart. Not on the fringes, but in the midst of your heart. In the midst of your spirit. 
in the midst of your total being. Keep that word there. Get up and get a little bit of it every day. I ain't gonna holler today. There are times I just want to teach you how to grow in the Lord. Amen? Amen. How, to, how, how to take in the medicine of God. Not for, just for sickness, but for whatever is bothering you. The Word of God. Amen? It's, it, it's just what it is. It's the Word of God. The Word of God has His will in it. And whatever you ask Him according to His will, He's going to do. So I'll go back to where we closed last week at Revelation 3 and 20. He's knocking at the door of your heart. He knocks through the word. Will you let him in? James Cleaver used to sing a song, and we can't do it. He used to sing a song, let him in. Y'all ever used to hear James do that? Let him in today. Amen. Open up your heart and let the Lord come in. And then James would go off and say, somebody knocking at it must be Jesus. Then he said, let him come in. And then he'd burn it up. Amen. He's knocking today. He's knocking the door to your heart. He's saying to you, let me in. He's saying to you, he's saying to the little children, I got saved when I was 10. I got saved when I was 10 years old. He's saying to, you know, and I've never regretted it. You, you can have fun with God. Amen? It didn't take my fun away a bit. Amen? And there's others who can testify to that. Amen? God loves you. He loves me. He don't love our faults, but he looks beyond them. And he sees our needs. And Jesus has already died for the faults. So we ask you, ask you to let him in. Let him come in. Amen? Amen? He's knocking. Let him in. Let him in. Attend to these words. Give an ear to the saying. Don't let them depart from your eyes. Don't look at your circumstances and be overwhelmed. God always causes us to triumph in Christ. Always. I've never seen it fail. Amen? Amen? I've seen the lightning flashing. I heard the thunder roar. I felt sin's breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But I heard the voice of Jesus telling me, still fight on. He promised never to leave me. Never to leave me alone. No, never alone. Don't let the devil tell you you're by yourself. No, never alone. He promised in your midnight hour. He promised when the doctor shakes his head and say the report is bad. He promised, amen somebody, when your mate run out on you. He promised when your job is lost. He promised never to leave you. I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. Though your sins be as scarlet, I'll wash you whiter than snow. I'll never leave you. Never, 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 never. My God. My God. Amen. Amen. See, he was forsaken that we wouldn't be forsaken. Y'all remember on Friday he cried, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Because he saw all of our sins on Jesus. He saw the rapist. He saw the drug dealer. He saw the serial killer. He saw the child molester. He saw all of that on Jesus. And the father who hates sin walked out on his own, on his own son. But Jesus paid it all. My God, I feel like preaching now. Oh, I feel like preaching now. I was trying to just teach this thing and sit down. Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but he washed me. Look at yourself and say, he washed me. He cleansed me. He washed me. He picked me up when I was down. He washed me with his blood. He put his arms around me. 
told me I was all right. Not my sin, but I'm all right. And I'm glad today. You want to sell you medicine for sick America. That is. America is sick. The church is sick. Ain't nobody getting saved. Ain't nobody getting healed. Ain't nobody hardly getting changed. Amen. The church is sick. Sick folk in the pulpit. I ain't talking about sick physically. I'm talking about sick spiritually. Sick folk mentally in the pulpit. Amen. A lot of them. Amen. Choir sick sometimes. Deacon sick sometimes. Church sick sometimes. I ain't talking about physically. I'm talking about spiritually. Amen. Medicine for a sick America. America is a sick nation. Children are being put in concentration camps. Amen. America is a sick nation. Amen. The rich is getting richer and the poor is getting poor. There's no love for those people of God. Amen, somebody. But God is still God. My God. Hey, my God. He's still God. And God can do anything but fail. Oh, God. Somebody here today. Somebody here today. Somebody here today. Somebody here today. Incline your ear to me. God's telling you, listen to me, listen to me. God's saying, listen to me, listen to me. I love you. I love you. I, I may not love some of your ways, amen, because ain't nobody perfect. Reverend Hill got some stuff I don't love, amen. All of y'all got some stuff I don't love, but I love you, amen. And I hope you're working on that stuff, amen. You see, if, if you're working on it, you can tell God, I, 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 when, when you lie and say it's not what it is, that's what God don't like. But when you see what it is, and you then you say, Lord, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to deal with it. I'm crying, doing my best. Help me, help me, Lord. I, I'm, I'm working. On, God gonna say, My grace, Amen. Where sin abound, grace much more abounded. Amen. I got more grace than the devil got sin. Amen. Somebody, you ought to thank Him for that today. Come on now, come down that aisle and say, God, I'm bringing myself to you. I'm bringing my sins to you. I'm bringing my sickness to you. I'm bringing my children to you. Whatever it is that the devil is trying to bring on me or, or, or stick in my life or whatever I brought in there from my birth, I'm bringing it down today.